Hello and welcome. My name is Meepolis and this is Literally Graphic. And today I'm doing my Get Graphic Readathon TBR list. If you don't know, Get Graphic is a readathon that happens, I believe, a couple times a year. And most importantly, it's going to happen August 23rd through the 25th. Apparently a time when my life's going on hold anyway, so why not fill it with even more graphic novels? This year is being hosted by Matthew Adriana Kayla. I will I will copy their information from one of their videos and put it in the description below. There's also Instagram challenges, but since I don't do Instagram currently, you'll have to go somewhere else to find out what they are. Being in a bit of a rush to have a high turnover of library books while I'm not taking my one class, I am going to be trying to focus a bit more on books that I own, but I was not able to fill all the challenges with books I own and have not read yet, so there's also some library book. But going through the challenges, the first challenge is read a work in translation. It was suggested that perhaps you could get a work written by a woman and translated by a woman. Unfortunately, my book is just written by a woman. It's called Other Russias by Victoria Lomasco and translated by Thomas Campbell. It was a gift from my paternal parental unit ages and ages ago, and I'm finally going to read it, hopefully. Fingers crossed. The second challenge is Read a prize-winning work. Even as someone who's really into the graphic novels, <laughs> this one was one of the more difficult ones. So I was like trying to see if anything I had from the library or own was hot. I need to read just happens to be prize winning, but flipping through the 2019 Eisner Awards, I did see that Tokyo Terra Reba Girls <laughs> was named best US edition of an international material, Asia. So I will be rereading the first volume because uh, I read it during one of my hiatuses and reading the second volume to hopefully put together an initial thoughts review. Something new, something old. The third challenge is to read an adaption work. Bonus if you watch the adaption. One of the last ones I found something for, I decided to go with Fun Home by Alison and Bechdel. I did read this a long time ago, but I was planning on rereading it anyway, and it has been adapted into a musical. I will probably not watch the musical, but I did also request the soundtrack, and I currently have that out from the library, so I'll probably listen to that. Um, challenge number four is read an own voices work. So I decided to go with Rendezvous in Phoenix by Tony Sandoval, which appears to be an own voices work about a Mexican man coming to the United States to see his girlfriend. And the fifth challenge is to read a work with LGBTQIA uh, representation. Um, so I decided to go with a book that I picked up at TCAF this past year, actually, I think, so not that long ago, called Gender Slices by Jay Pollock. It's a collection of short autobiographical comics about being trans and non-binary in a cis-centric world. So that should be pretty exciting. And then the third, ch sixth challenge is to read two installments of a series, and I'm going to go with Kiss Him, Not Me, uh, which I actually do own a couple of volumes of. I got them for my birthday because my library only got the first three physically. Uh, they have since then bought the rest digitally, so I do feel a little bit silly, but I also just like reading physical books a bit more anyway. I was also initially very excited to read the rest of the series um, before I lost momentum due to procrastination. Uh, I'm still excited to read the rest of them, but... Yes, I was I was pretty excited when I first picked up this series because it just felt so fresh and different. Um, and so the se then the seventh challenge is to read seven works in total, and uh, that is in fact covered uh, by all the other books that I will be reading. So there's that. Yeah, let me know in the comments what you're reading. I'll probably be going around and commenting on lots and lots of people's videos for this challenge because it's a lot of fun. Yeah, I should have a wrap up afterwards as well. See you all. Re keep reading and resist fascism. And as always, I would like to acknowledge that for the most part, all of my videos are filmed and produced on the traditional territory of the Mississaugas of the Credit, Anishinaabe people, the Haudenosaunee Confederacy, and the Huron Wendat Nation, land covered by the Dish with One Spoon Wampum Belt Covenant. <laughs>